Hey, I'm Ryan Lagod. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagod. And Craig Tovey. Remember, if you like what you see, follow us on Instagram. Or go to our website. RyanandCraig.com You can watch all of our read aloud videos there. Or you can send us a message. Oh, I have a message. Craig. You know, after we do this uh, read aloud, we're going to have a QA. and a So save all your comments and all your questions till then, and we will answer them. I have a message too. What? Yep. Ryan. I want to give a shout out to Mrs. Doe's class of second graders at Bentley Elementary School in Canton, Michigan. Yep. For sending us today's book. For sending book. us today's book. You guys are awesome. We can't wait to read it. Because today's book is... <gasps> a Bad, Bad Case, Case of, of the, the Stripes. Stripes by David Shannon. Let's get started. Yeah. Moving position. Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got to get there. Yep. Camilla Cream loved lima beans, but she never ate them. All of her friends hated lima beans, and she wanted to fit in. Camilla was always worried about what order people thought, what other people thought of her. Today, she was fretting even more than usual. It was the first day of school, and she couldn't decide what to wear. There were so many people to impress. She tried on 42 outfits, but none seemed quite right. She put on a pretty red dress and looked in the mirror. Then she screamed. What? Her mother ran into the room and she screamed too. Oh my heavens, she cried. You're completely covered with stripes. <laughs> this was certainly true. Camila was striped from head to toe. She looked like a rainbow. Mrs. Cream felt Camilla's forehead do you feel all right? She asked. I feel fine, Camilla answered. But just don't look at me. <laughs> you get back in bed this instant, her mother ordered. You're not going to school today. Camilla was relieved. She didn't want to miss the first day of school, but she was afraid of what the other kids would say. And she had no idea what to wear with those crazy stripes. Wow. Craig, this is intense. Yeah, this is a real problem. This is a girl covered in stripes, which is insane. This is tough. We need someone to help her out, right? Yeah, like we need like a hero to swoop in. Yeah, or a doctor. A doctor hero. A doctor hero. We need a hero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that afternoon, Dr. Bumble came to examine Camilla. Most extraordinary. He exclaimed, I've never seen anything like it. Are you having any coughing, sneezing, runny nose, aches, pains, chills, hot flashes, dizziness, drowsiness, shortness of breath, or uncontrollable twitching? No, Camilla told him. I feel fine. Well then, Dr. Bumble said, turning to Mrs. Cream, I don't see any reason why she shouldn't go to school tomorrow. Here's some ointment. That should help clear up those stripes in a few days. If it doesn't, you know where to reach me. And off he went. I just send her to school. If the if you feel fine, you're good to go. No man. twitching. <laughs> go to then school. Then you're good. Perfect. That is Dr. Hero there. That's what we needed. <laughs> That's what we okay. needed. This okay. should clear up This should be now. fine. He said she's fine. Okay. Can't wait to see it. Yes. Yeah. The next day was a disaster. Everyone at school laughed at Camilla. They called her Camilla, Camilla Crayon! Crayon! <laughs> and... Night of the Living Lollipop! She tried her best to act as if everything were normal, but when the class said the Pledge of Allegiance, her stripes turned red, white, and blue, and she broke out in stars. She's patriotic. Not normal. No, it's weird. It's weird. Wow. The other kids thought this was great. One yelled out, Let's eat some purple polka dots! Sure enough. Camilla turned all purple polka dotty. Someone else shouted, A checkerboard. <laughs> and a pattern, that's a chess kid. He, <laughs> he likes chess. He likes yeah, chess. chess <laughs> and a pattern of squares covered her skin. Soon everyone was calling out different shapes and colors, and poor Camilla was changing faster than you can change channels on a TV. See, back in the day. Yeah, you didn't pull the plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had to change channels Consistently. And not. You couldn't guide and you couldn't just kind you of had see to everything. Get up from the you couch. You couldn't see cool people it. on YouTube the way you can now. I'm not naming names. It's Ryan and Craig. Okay, here we go. 
That night, here, let's get it closer. There we yeah. go. That night, Mr. Harms, the school principal, called. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cream, he said. I'm going to have to ask you to keep Camilla home from school. She's just too much of a distraction, and I've been getting calls from the other parents. They're afraid these stripes may be contagious. Camilla was so embarrassed. She couldn't believe that two days ago, everyone liked her. Now, nobody wanted to be in the same room with her. Her father tried to make her feel better. Is there anything I can get you, sweetheart? He asked. No, thank you, sighed Camilla. What she really wanted was a nice plate of lima beans, but she had been laughed at enough for one day. What's with these lima beans? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had lima beans, if I'm being honest. Yeah. But Aside from lima beans, there's some important, there's some problems going on here. Yeah. We need, we need someone to help. We need a hero. But that didn't work last time. No. What if we had a bunch of doctors? A bunch of doctor heroes? Yes. I think that's it. Yeah. We need a hero. Rolling onto a hero in the end of the night. Yeah. 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 Ah, there they oh, are. Oh my gosh. Dr. Heroes. Hmm, well, yes, I see, Dr. Bumble mumbled when Mr. Cream phoned the next day. I think I'd better bring in the specialist. We'll be right over. About an hour later, Dr. Bumble arrived with four people in long white coats. He introduced them to the Creams. This is Dr. Grop, Dr. Sponge, Dr. Cricket, and Dr. Young. When the specialist... <laughs> When the specialist went to work on Camilla. Then the specialist went then. to work on Camilla. They squeezed and jabbed, tapped and tested. It was very uncomfortable. Mm, well, it's not the mumps, concluded Dr. Grop. Or oh, the measles, said Dr. Sponge. Definitely not chicken pox, put in Dr. Cricket. Or a sunburn, said Dr. Young. <laughs> Try these, said the specialist. They each handed her a bottle filled with different colored pills. Take one. Oh. Crap. Yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Take one of each before bed, said Dr. Grop. Then they fill, filed out the front door, followed by Dr. Bumble. I mean, Dr. Young, it's clearly not a sunburn. Come on, yeah. he's, he's the weakly. He was not trying very hard <laughs> at all. That night, Camilla took her medicine. It was awful. When she woke up the next morning, she didn't feel different. She did feel different. Ah, she did feel she different. She did. But when she got dressed, her clothes didn't fit right. She looked in the mirror, and there, staring back at her, was a giant, multicolored pill with her face on it. What? That's insane. This, this is getting too intense, Greg. Okay, uh, joking aside... Yeah. We need somebody to fix this. Like yes. somebody who knows what they're doing. But like larger than life. Like, like, a, like a hero. hero. Yeah. Yeah, a we need a hero. hero. A different kind of hero. But not doctors. Like No. But like specialists. Specialists. Specialist somebody heroes. who knows about this particular ailment. Yes. The giant pill forming ailment. Specialist heroes. We need hero. Rolling under a hero to the end of the night. They've got to be strong, they've got to be specialists, that's how it's right. <laughs> Dr. Bumble rushed over as soon as Mrs. Cream called. But this time, instead of the specialists, he brought the experts. That's what... Experts! experts. That's experts. what we needed. Experts. 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 That's what we said. That's... If you we rewind... Said, yeah. Check. It sounds like specialists, but we meant... Experts. experts. Dr. Gord and Mr. Mellon were the finest scientific minds in the land. Once again, Camilla was poked and prodded, looked at and listened to. The experts wrote down lots of numbers. Then they huddled together and whispered. Dr. Gord finally spoke. It might be a virus, he announced with authority. Oh, it might be a virus. Suddenly, Fuzzy little virus balls appeared all over Camilla. Mm -hmm. Possibly some form of bacteria, said Mr. Mellon. Out popped squiggly little bacteria tails. 
O or it could be a fungus, added Dr. Gord. Instantly, Camilla was covered with different colored fungus blotches. The experts looked at Camilla, then at each other. Well, well, we, need well to. Uh, we're, we need to go over these numbers again. Back at the lab, Dr. Gord explained. We'll call you when we know something. But the experts didn't have a, experts didn't have a clue, much less a cure. <sighs> so they are going over this stuff, but they have no answers? This is tough. I don't have an answer for you right now, Okay, Ryan. okay. You usually have answers, Greg. I'm going to go over the numbers and get back to you. Greg, 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 Greg. I don't like being... Oh. By now, the TV news had found out about Camilla. Reporters from every channel were outside her house, telling the story of... The bizarre case of the incredible changing kid! Soon, a huge crowd was camped out on the front lawn. Hey. There, apparently, there's full-colored tattoos. Oh, to be like her. Oh, to be like her. W.C. Camilla is... Ugh. We it's want... The... Uh, it's almost wacko, <laughs> Channel 5, but it's not. W.C.K.O. Channel 5 News. Check us out at 6. That's, that's newsy, right? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. What? The creams were swamped with all kinds of remedies from psychologists, allergists, herbalists, nutritionists, psychics, and old medicine man. A guru, and even a veterinarian. Even so-called cure, each so-called cure only added to poor Camilla's strange appearance until it was hard to even recognize her. She sprouted roots and berries and crystals and feathers and a long furry tail, but nothing worked. Okay, this is getting so out of hand. Yeah. I can't get worse. I, 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 there's, there's no way, possible way, way this could get, get worse. worse. Thank, goodness, goodness. thank goodness. Thank goodness. Phew, phew. Okay. Okay, Ooh. we're on the Anyway, what happens next? <laughs> oh, well, there's a really interesting looking room. Yeah, anyway, those paintings look like eyes. Hmm. One day, a woman who called herself an environmental therapist claimed she could cure Camilla. Close your eyes, she said. Breathe deeply and become one with your room. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that is not what you tell Camilla. And then Camilla groaned. I wish you hadn't said that! Slowly, she started to melt into the walls of her room. Her bed became her mouth, her nose was a dresser, and two paintings were her eyes. The therapist screamed and ran from the house. Um, what are we going to do? cried Mrs. Cream. It just keeps getting worse and worse! She began to sob. Okay. Wow. wow. Mom's crying. Camilla's Camilla. an actual room. She's a room now. It's... She's a whole room, but Craig, we need something. We need like, I mean, okay, so if it's not medicine woman or like, you know, environmental an herb, therapist. And an herbalist or didn't work. What are we yeah. going to do? And a medicine man. Yeah, you know and a veterinarian need? didn't help her. You know we need? A good old-fashioned old lady. An old lady hero. We need a hero. We're holding up for a hero at the end of the night. She's, she's gotta, gotta be old, and she's gotta, gotta have, have a coat, and she's, she's gotta, gotta have lima bees? Foreshadowing. We'll see. Oh my gosh! Oh, what? We didn't what? Hear we it asked all. for it, and it came! At that moment, Mr. Cream heard a quiet little knock at the front door. Cream? <laughs> he opened it, and there stood an old woman who was just as plump and sweet as a strawberry. Excuse me, she said brightly, but I think I can help. Oh, I hope so. Please, we need it. She went into Camilla's room and looked around. My goodness, she said with a shake of her head. What we have here is a bad case of the stripes. One of the worst I've ever seen. She pulled a container of small green beans from her bag. Here, she said. These might do the trick. Are those magic beans? Asked Mrs. Cream. Oh my, no, replied the kind old woman. There's no such thing. These are just plain old lima beans. I'll bet you'd like some. Wouldn't you? She asked Camilla. 
Camilla does like lima beans. Camilla wanted a big, heaping plateful of lima beans more than just about anything, but she was still afraid to admit it. Yuck, she said. No one likes lima beans, especially me. Oh, dear, the old woman said sadly. I guess I was wrong about you. She put the beans back in her bag and started towards the door. Camilla watched the old woman walk away. Those beans would taste so good, and being laughed at for eating them was nothing compared to what she'd been going through. She finally couldn't stand it. Wait! She cried. The truth is, I really love lima beans. There it is. Yeah. Oh gosh, finally. Oh, she admitted it. I thought so, the old woman said with a smile. She took a handful of beans and popped them into Camilla's mouth. Mm -hmm. Said Camilla. I, I don't think that lima beans, I know we foreshadowed it. Yeah. And we talked about we it. We asked for it. We really think it's the, but I mean, can lima beans, we had experts. We had experts. We had specialists. I mean, it was on the news. We had doctor heroes. I mean, can lima beans really fix this? I'm gonna guess she becomes a lima bean. Oh, uh, see, that's the pattern. That's it, so now she'll be a lima bean. Here we go, guaranteed. Three, two, two one. one. lima. What? Suddenly, the branches, feathers, and squiggly tails began to disappear. Then the whole room, room swirled around. When it stopped, there stood Camilla, and everything was back to normal. I'm cured! She shouted. Yes, said the old woman. I knew the real you was in there somewhere. She patted Camilla on the head. Then she went outside and vanished into the crowd. Bye now. Oh, see ya. Goodbye, I'm magical old woman. Oh, oh, bye, lady. Our arms are still there. Afterward, Cam Camilla wasn't quite the same. Some of the kids at school said she was weird, but she didn't care a bit. She ate all the lima beans she wanted, and she never had even a touch of stripes again. Wow. I mean, what a ride we what have been on. What a ride. You know, at the end oh. of the day... I think we learned a valuable lesson. We learned a valuable lesson, which is we all we need, need a, a hero. hero. And it might just be an old woman. Who's it could be plump like, as a and strawberry. Nice and knows you love lima beans. Yeah. There's wisdom in, in old people. So I guess the moral of the story is listen to, old, listen to listen, old. Listen to old. Listen to listen to us. us. <laughs> that That's was it. it. Yeah. Well, well, that was pretty much good, it. Good read. Yeah. Nice. So now we uh we are gonna like take a little Q and A. If you got to get back to your classes, if you got other stuff to do, do it. Uh, you should. I guess. Yeah. But if you have any questions for us. Or just want to give a shout out or anything to us, go for let's it. Let's see, let's see. Okay, no, 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 that's not it. Okay. I think it's at live, and then go to live. That thing. Yeah, no. Live chat, all messages available. Visible, yeah. available. Cassie Sunshine says, one of my favorite books as a kid. I've been watching for you guys to read this one. So excited to share the, all of it with the... Uh, so excited to share this with my niece later. We love you. Thank, Thank you. you. That's yeah. great. Yeah, we were, we were looking forward to reading this one yeah, for it's a favorite a while for us too. Uh, we have uh, we have a handful of people on here. Uh, uh, Ryan, I mean, are we? Oh yeah. Look. Oh okay. Here we go. Miss Early's class in the Outer Banks of North Carolina is excited to hear you live this morning. Hey, Miss Early's class. Lisa Early. I think she sent us a book before. She right? did. Yeah. Uh, Denise Cushing, Bradford, Bradford K3 is excited to join you. Okay, oh, what about that one? My class loves your videos and we were excited to get our creepy pair of underwear back signed from you both. We would love to have you come to Outer Banks to visit our school. Whoa! Gosh, we would love that too. Yes. We're, gonna, we're, get, we're gonna get our team right on that. Yeah, we're working on getting some tours put together, so. It tight. Um, I think that's it. I think yeah. that's it. You know, um, as our uh, live read alouds kind of like pick up momentum and people know to uh, look for them, then hopefully we'll, uh, you know, have longer. This kind of, we kind of sprung this on you yeah, guys. So, we did. so we'll see next month we're doing it and we'll put some posts out about it soon. 
This was awesome. So with that, I'd say I'm Ryan Lagod. I'm Craig Toby. And we're signing off. Bye, Bye. now. See you next year. Month. <laughs> See you next year. Month.